Hello y'all, I am back again for another video. And this video is going to be about the psychopath and mental retardation, y'all. Yes, I said it. The psychopath and mental retardation. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. However, it does happen. It happened, y'all. The psychopath and mental retardation. You see the thumbnail in this photo. You see a man, a pervert, with a little girl. The little girl is my blood relative. The psychopath demon is not my blood relative. However, that psychopath demon is also the little girl's blood relative. So the reason I'm doing this video is because you know how I am y'all about words, okay? Just because a word says something in the dictionary does not mean that that is literally what that word should mean. And I did a video about um, gangsters, okay? And so if you scroll down through my videos, I did, I think, part one and part two about gangsters. So I went over what it really should mean, not what it says in the dictionary. So with that being said, mental retardation. For one, it's a very discriminatory word, y'all. It's a word that is offensive. However, once I describe to you what it should mean, it won't be as offensive. Now, you have people that are born with illnesses, birth defects, and stuff like that. Sometimes you will see them and their hands and legs will be bent. Sometimes you may refer to these as deformities. However, most of these people are not retarded. Not retarded, y'all. So if you got children that have these um, deformities and birth defects, it's very offensive when they're called retarded and they're actually not, okay? And with this being said, you notice I named it the psychopath and mental retardation. Now, the man that you're looking at on that photo, and if you want to see the photo better, all you have to do is pause this video and wait until the photo just sits there. The thumbnail kind of flashes the photo out really quickly. However, if you want to get a better look at that demon that you're looking at, all you got to do is pause this video and just wait till it appears and it will sit there for you. And if y'all have ever went to the restroom or whatever and paused the video, you know that that happens. So if you didn't know that it happens, now you know. So if you pause that video, that thumbnail or that first photo that comes up will be there. So that man is retarded. Now, I did another video. That's why you got to watch all my videos, y'all. And I talked about the abusive language that that man used when my relative died and his relative died. And he was um, calling me a little retarded girl. Okay. Now, look at this man's photo. And I'm going to try to find a video. Check the description because I'm going to try to find a video that I did several months back when I, I lost the 18 pounds. And I am I may put that copy link in the description. And that way you can see the physical difference between me and this demon. And I'm not saying I'm the best looking woman in the world, okay? However, he set himself up for this. Now, I was in no contact and my lawyer advised me, don't put yourself at risk of 
any harassment or anything like that. So just lay low. However, it's not harassment if you're responding to something. Okay, so let me explain to you the law. If your attorney tells you, if the if the perpetrator or the abuser threatens do threatens to put harassment charges on you or something like that, and you are making the contact, even though they may be calling you, just back off a little bit because you don't want to be in this situation. And that's what abusers do. Um, they will threaten these things. However, they're starting the shit. Okay, so with this being said, this demon that's on this thumbnail and photo with my beautiful little relative inheriting the smile of the good side of her family on my side. He asked my relative to send me photos. Okay, so this is what he asked. He, he told my relative to send him some photos, uh, send me some photos of the kids. My relative mentioned, not the relative in the photo, y'all, my relative mentioned that there was also some photos of of him and my relative. And um, I said, well, okay, just send me all of what he said send me. I mean, just send them to me. It's fine. And so something told me, don't be a grudge holder. I mean, if he got, if he's in pictures with my relative, let's see those too. And I'm so glad that I mentioned that that was okay. Because my cousin... She knows how I'm offended by this uh, sick, sick ass man's behavior. So going back to retardation, y'all. So I, I use the example of deformities, hand bent, feet, knees, whatever. Um, like a good example would be people that have cerebral palsy. Now, people that have cerebral palsy are not retarded. Okay usually that they're not them having those deformities doesn't mean that they're retarded but this is what mental retardation is most people that are mentally retarded and if you use the word in the way it should be used it would be people like this demon on this photo he's retarded to know that i'm in no contact he told me I was harassing him because I wanted to talk to my relatives. So he's denying me to talk to the relative that's on the photo. And let me explain something to y'all. And so many women are so lost and they go through so much sadness and depression because they don't understand what a real man is. A real man that was not mentally retarded that was not a predator or a pervert or somebody that's probably been fucked in his ass or he done fucked somebody in their ass. And I'm talking about a man, y'all, like a down low brother, a bitch. They do not do the type of shit that this ninja is doing. The beautiful little girl, my relative that's on the photo that you see Unfortunately, she is on the photo with this damn pervert. That's her relative too. The thing is this, y'all. This is why women and men, but especially women in this case, need to not use drugs and alcohol so their kids don't end up having to reside and live and be in the custody of of a twisted, mentally retarded dude like this with all that shit bulging out of his head. Look at his eyes. Red, just just ugly. He's a fucking drunk, y'all. Just full-blown alcoholic. And he smokes a little bit too. He told me that himself. He had to get off the phone to go get his weed, he said. So he's fucked up. Now looking at that photo, y'all ain't seen his daddy, right? Um, and 
They lucky I'm not mentioning their name. I have no respect for these people. No respect. Very little respect for anybody that's down in Texas, period, at this point, except for my blood relative, blood relatives, and one other person. I'm going to say his name, Tess. I hold love in my heart for Tess and my blood relatives. Because Tez is related to my blood relatives. It's about the only people I give a fuck about down there. Anybody else can fuck off if you listen to this video. So going back to this mental retard. So it takes somebody that's mentally retarded to even think that it was going to be a good outcome sending me those photos. And this is why. Or having someone send me those photos. He has my phone number, y'all. So, men don't do that neither, y'all. When you're communicating effectively with a man, and when I say effectively, like me, ladylike energy, this is what I approach this demon with. But it's a demon. So, when you're approaching a demon with ladylike energy, kindness, no profanity, and stuff like that, there's... Not going to be a good outcome because you're dealing with a psychopath. This man on this photo is a psychopath and has been one since I have known him when I first met him in high school. At that time, I didn't know what a psychopath is, but he is one. Now, he's withholding the beautiful little girl, my relative. I can't even have a conversation with her, right? But check out how unhappy he looks on this photo. And this is why I did another video when I mentioned letting the psychopath have it to a certain degree to the best of your ability. Now, he's going to be blindsided. And I mean literally blindsided. And I mean by the Lord. Because this man has obviously not learned his lesson. The little girl, my family member that's on that photo, with this demon this man sat on her mother's chest and almost took her life men don't do shit like that to women y'all all men you gotta understand this all men that can obviously beat up a woman in most cases most men can overpower any woman. They usually do not use their power in that way because a real man wouldn't do that. This is a low value man, y'all. And when I say low value, stop looking at value as it's just connected to money. This is what value is to me. Value involves your belief system, your values, your loving heart, your attempt to do the right thing, even in the worst situation, your ability to approach a situation with peace, even though it's very horrible. These are the things that I did. However, I don't know what he was going to expect. And I'm, I'm going in, y'all. So as I go in and I have to tolerate and react and deal with this situation, I am going to be putting some time and energy into it. And doing this video is part of the time that I will be putting into this. Okay. So I showed this um, photo of this demon to another person that um, lives in another state. Um, and this lady is new to me, new in my life. So she has no motivation or she has no reason to take my side over his or nothing like that. But as soon as she saw the photo, she said, that's a pervert. And he is a dangerous pervert. A dangerous pervert. But like I said, this is why men and women should stay off drugs so that they kids are not left with these demons. Now, 
her mama, the little girl that's on this photo, her mama is free of this demon, this man that's on the thumbnail. And the little girl will be free of him too. And I don't mean by death. I just know how life works. She will be free of this man. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know how long it'll take. But she will be free of him. And I'm not saying she's going to be with me. This is not a custodial threat. It's just how my Lord works with these kind of demons. Because see, this is why. He's not happy. And that's the thing with psychopaths that uh, bitch ass ninja men, especially. This is mainly about the men, y'all. So my empathetic men that are subscribed to me or other empathetic men that watch me, this is not a, this does not apply to you. And you know, on my other videos, I talk about psychopathic women, but this one is about the men. So I offer something to both of you, but this situation is about men. So men that are psychopathic that do custodial fights and they get custody of um, girls and boys and um, they love to have custody of the girls. And the reason that is this, y'all got to realize this. Um, it's something, it's a term used um, that I saw a detective use many, many years ago. It's called unconsummated incest. That means it's incest, but it's unconsummated. So there's actually not been any physical or sexual touch. And so the reason psychopaths, I, I think many of them prefer girls unless the psychopath has sexual urges for boys. But I think um, many of them, this kind, this demon that you're looking at, this old ass, decrepit ass, sick ass looking, looking like his daddy. Um, he got the same weird ass sickness that his ugly ass daddy had. And he got that same demonic, wicked, undercutting, spirit of his stupid ass mama and i call her stupid because many of this psychopath problems goes back to his bitch ass mama she was so fucking unfit you know when you grow up and this is the thing with these elders y'all this is 2023 and we don't owe them shit this bitch that's his biological mother ain't my biological mother i don't owe her shit she was a horrible mother. You know, we always patch things up. And, you know, when you're a teenager and you meet people, you know, we were raised like to have this fear of our elders. We can't talk back to them. We can't do that. Fuck that shit. This old ass bitch allowed him to abuse her other kids. She allowed this demon to abuse the other kids in the house in uh, many ways, physical, sexual, he abused children that was in that house. And he's a sick fuck. And the reason he's the sick fuck he is, is because the bitch, his mama, that raised his sick fucking ass is a tramp. And she justifies everything this demon does. She's got so many reports. Um, he comes on to stepkids. He's a pervert. He's an ex-drug dealer. He's a womanizer. He's an abuser. He's a financial abuser to women. From what I heard, he taking money from his old ass mama now. And the bitch is in her 70s, okay? Like I said, I, I don't have no respect for these people. This is um, part of the time I will be putting in. I'm 19 minutes in, so I didn't spend 20 minutes doing something about this problem. This is just the beginning of the problem. And 
this is a video it's on file i'm recording this this is evidence of what this ninja does so what she did is supported this bastard this is her firstborn and so she's supported this sick twisted psychopath in doing evil since his fucking ass been on the earth he was the favorite he was allowed to abuse the other siblings other siblings that went in no contact with this fucking bitch and this ninja, this demonic ass ninja that's on this photo. And I ain't going to no hell from talk for talking about her, y'all, because she's not my mom. So it ain't no honor thy mother shit. This bitch is not my mother. And she sat up and she 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 destroyed girls' lives, y'all, because she allowed this ninja to have girls over and girlfriends more than one and they fucked and made babies in this bitch's house so when i had my daughter when i was a teenager i didn't conceive her at my residence if that makes sense like so many girls they their parents actually don't want them having sex but it's so hard when you got a bitch like this ninja's mama that allows young girls 13 years old when i technically first met this demon and i was allowed to go over to his house and date him so like i said a high school demon this is a high school demon and it destroys good girls like in my case i was a virgin I, I hadn't had another boyfriend and I'm not the only teenage girl life that was destroyed. The other baby mama, she ended up having some difficulties in her life. Usually the women that have kids with him usually end up on drugs. I am the only one that has bore children in a situation like this that was not on any drugs or alcohol never did cocaine heroin none of that not judging you if you did it i'm just explaining the corruption that this demon on this thumbnail has caused if i had stayed with him i would need to do drugs to look at this food i prefer a man more chocolate than this ninja so um Let's call him my white man. Okay. Because that, that's what he acts like. He acts like a sick, twisted, Ted Bundy, weird acting fuck. And all of this is why he gets his result regarding the children he raised. Okay. Okay. Another thing I want to add. The children that he has by black women, they just niggas, you know but his i guess the biracial children that he has by the spanish woman they not niggas but some of his other kids and he's directly called these kids niggas now i want to point this out see this little girl on the photo my relative now before he got her several years ago and before she was living in his home and I was talking to him about, you know, how we could help protect the kids or whatever when I was talking to this demon. He said that he was going to let the bitch's kids go in foster care. This is how he talking about this little girl's mama. Saying he going to let the bitch's kids go in foster care. This is all I've had to listen to with this demonic, alien ass, perverted character, y'all. Let's call him Snoopy, Okay. So Snoopy here, big frog eyed, drunk eyed, looking like his sick, perverted ass daddy with a little smirk action of his twisted up in the head, bitch ass mama. That's what you see here. So the reason I'm pointing this out is that's why he's not happy. See, psychopaths, especially psychopaths that take girls they don't want them, y'all. I, I believe this. I believe it's um, sexual fantasy. Okay. Because he likes kids. 
This man will fuck an animal. He might have fucked an animal. Oh, they just got a dog, y'all. I got a photo of that. So maybe he'll be fucking the dog. I don't know. But, and I've learned a lot and I've studied y'all. If you go to Tony Gaskin's channel, he has a video where, video where he talks about that. How he does life coaching to men that actually do fuck the animals. So don't underestimate it. Don't be like, oh, this is just sick. So, viewer discretion advised. So the thing is, like I said, he opened the door for it because he asked for this photo to be sent to me. Now, this is the thing. I never asked for photos. When our relative died and I went to Texas, I didn't ask for photos. I asked to be able to be around the people. But see, this is his problem. This is why his kids come out so toxic and on drugs and in gangs because when I tried to reach out and offer to be in the kid's life, like for one, the kids should have a right to come in the house and be here. They just have that right. They, they should have that right to do that. I don't need to move to Texas and leave my fresh air to go down there in that low ass humidity or that fucked up ass humidity and be brain dead like this fucking alien creature, demonic, drunk, weed smoking piece of shit. Okay. Obviously he's OD'd and he needs to go get his ass some plastic surgery and get all them lumps and all that bullshit off his face and stop doing wicked shit to people so he can show a real smile like that fake ass smile he used to have in high school when he was pretending to be happy because he's a psychopath because that's what they do they pretend to be happy but see every single psychopathic demon that i've ever seen get these girls none of them look happy y'all that's the thing they just ain't happy because they don't really want it. They, their, their true intentions towards these little girls is just not right. And not no real man would do it. They just don't do it. Now, there's one man that um, let his baby mama see the daughter and it, it did um, backfire. And that was in the Shania Davis case. And um, it's a horrible case, five-year-old, uh, brutally raped and murdered. It's so sad. She was biracial. Her mother was black and her father was white. And it ended up being not in his best interest. So there are rare circumstances where the man is a good, empathetic man and he, he believes that you should not keep a little girl from her mom. However, his sister advised him that he should not allow the little girl to return to her mother, but he did. And it backfired. But those cases are very rare. But that proves how real men think. He actually was a real man. And so he did not believe in keeping especially a little girl away from their mom. And he did not keep her away from her mom and her sick ass mother because some drug dealer, she owed him $200. Instead of just her having sex with the weirdo drug dealer, she decided to give Shania Davis to the demon. That was a demon too. No different than the demon that's on here. So the thing is, I'm going outside of my norm. Y'all notice, or will notice, I don't mention names on here. I still haven't mentioned his name. However, when I decide to put up a photo of a ninja, whether they be male or female, and I just put it on out there, now y'all know what the demon look like. I have no respect for this man. None. And it's taken so many years for me to get to this point. 
He's playing Russian roulette with my Lord. And he's already lost. Look at the photo. I'm going to try to do a, a little clip or video in the description. So check the description below to see that. And you will just see a comparison of, of the aging process. Like, I, like I'm saying, I don't look like no five-year-old, y'all. But at the same time, because I don't do the type of shit that he does, I don't have to appear that miserable. He looks miserable to me very miserable and what's gonna happen is my relative won't have the access to me in the way that she should and because that's a demon that man is he doesn't see the benefits especially of having a grandmother aunt or uncle her dad any of this little girl's relatives that should be really in her life or not allowed to be in her life i'm not the only relative that's not allowed to be in her life her dad can't be around her neither her real protectors i believe her dad loves her i do i know in my heart that he loves my relative that beautiful little girl that's on the photo with that demon. I know her real dad does. And it just goes to show you the mental retardation in psychopaths. Now, remember I said earlier, you got to look at a retarded person different. So stop looking at them like they hands and feet bent and stuff like that. Those are physical deformities. That does not mean that a person is mentally retarded. A mentally retarded person makes the moves that he's making that leads to alcoholism and misery. Mentally retarded people act like his damn mama. And they allow little girls to come in the house for that demon to fucking get pregnant resulting in everlasting devastation to even the demon psychopath these are mental retards and remember i told you even on another video he called me a little retard but see the thing is this i'm smart enough to know that that's not true and the reason i know that is this one way i know i'm not mentally retarded is i don't have his drinking problem and the reason I don't have his drinking problem is because I'm able to use logical thinking, which I went over that before y'all, but I'll read it to you one more time. I'm really going to reiterate this to y'all throughout these videos. I hope you don't get tired of it, but I'm going to read this. What is logical thinking? The logical thinking definition is analyzing a situation or problem using reason and coming up with potential solutions. Logical thinkers gather all the information they can, assess the facts, and then methodically decide the best way to move forward. And that's what someone that's addicted to alcohol and drugs is not doing. So, if you're not a logical thinker, that's mental retardation. That's exactly what you got is mental retardation. I don't care that your hands and feet ain't bent and you don't have physical deformities. I don't care about that. You are mentally retarded if you don't use logical thinking. I have a cousin and a brother that had physical deformities but they're not retarded because both of them use logical thinking and we're always able to use logical thinking. But this demon creature that's on that thumbnail, he's mentally retarded and use this to help you develop some strength y'all because the reason I say that is this, 
The reason why you should use it to develop some strength is because when you are called out of your name, especially if you're grieving, you've got to learn to be strong enough because you are not mentally retarded because you use logical thinking to understand how true it ain't. It ain't true. Don't let a drunk with eyes looking like this Kermit the Frog alien even convince you that you a little retard. He's just calling me what he is. That's basically what he's doing and I can figure that out from logical thinking. So you got to understand what I went through so you can know how to think because some people internalize this. Oh, he called me a hoe. He called me a retard. He a little retard. He called me a a B, you know, cuz some of y'all some the person has called you a bitch. You know, or whatever, no matter what they call you, but especially when they start calling you names that connect to your mental state and your intelligence and the way you think and the way you handle things. That man, this demon creature, he don't even take enough, he don't even take good enough care of himself for me to even think that I'm any retard compared to that ninja. He doesn't. And, and see, when I say take care of yourself, when we were in Texas, we ended up, um, my son and I, we went to um, Walmart. And um, I had cracked this joke before I left the motel, before we went to Walmart. And, you know, because the, the retard here, he had on the full suit, y'all, at the funeral. But it won't take away from your aging ass face and wrinkles and all them damn big lumps on his damn head. It won't take away that. Your, your suit and your full suit does not take away your old aging, demonic, sad ass. It just won't do it. So I cracked the joke with my son. I said, um, yeah, we ain't, we ain't got on that suit, but we clean, but it doesn't matter, son, because we didn't brought this West Coast skin with us. <laughs> and I'm laughing because when I tell you what happened next, it's funny. So we're in Walmart because I'm in customer service to um, put some money on the, uh, what do you call that card? The, the cash, cash app card or whatever that card is. And so I'm learning how to deposit money on the cash app card. So while we're in line, there was a sister, a black lady, and um, she said to us, she looked at me first and she said, you got some beautiful, nice skin. What do you use? And then she looked at my son and she said, and you do too. Y'all skin is just so, whatever word she used, um, vibrant or whatever whatever the way she said it and so my son looked at me because it was so funny because i had cracked the joke and i was just talking you know i just was um saying you know and i and i teach my family that you know a lot of times we going out here buying clothes and we trying to fix ourselves up all you got to do is do your skin and hair y'all sometimes you add way too much shit instead of taking care of what really needs to be taken care of. And this is what this demon creature needs to take care of um, and get his life together. But he's mentally retarded. For one, he sent this photo. And to be honest, I didn't want any photos because that's not what I asked him for. When I was in Texas, this demon is so mentally retarded, mean and wicked he was trying to offer me photos of the deceased person. And I wasn't getting on no plane. 
with no big old photo of somebody I just went to a funeral and saw in a casket. I just wasn't doing that. And it's not what I asked for. And when you don't ask psychopaths for photos and you're asking to see the actual people, but see, he's mentally retarded too. It might not be that he's just so much trying to keep him away. Maybe the retard doesn't understand the difference. But he does though, because he's also wicked. There are a lot of times more than um, just retarded. So this is just a demonic looking, alien, perverted, molester, alcoholic, weed smoking creature. That's what you see on there. And um, he's very retarded and I want you to grasp this so you can understand when you dealing with psychopaths and narcissists and sociopaths and it's all this irrational stuff going on they're mentally retarded and another description of a person that's not retarded is someone that has the deformities and they can't talk hear or speak those are also not retarded people the Main retarded people that's mentally retarded are people like this demon you see on this or this creature, this demonic ass, ugly, drunk ass creature that probably got some uh, rotting out organs inside of his stiff ass, took some dick in the ass booty, big ass booty that looked like his mama's. He probably, how can I word this? Um, though, okay, people, let me say this again. The, the people that can't talk here, they have deformities. Um, some of them are paraplegics, quadriplegics. Those are not retarded people. I'm telling you, the real mentally retarded people is ninjas Sometimes they female ninjas like on this damn photo. And if you pause this video and you can see this photo clear and you think this man looked normal, something wrong with you. That means that for one, you ain't watched enough of my videos. Two, you lack intuition. Three, you're not good enough at telling if somebody's really miserable. And four, if you can't see through this photo, your psychic ability is broke. And five, you're going to attract a dangerous motherfucker to you. If you a woman and you don't see nothing wrong with this damn photo, something wrong with you. It's instant what is wrong with it. And number six, you don't have a strong enough belief system and you're not prayed up enough. It should go as far as you should even feel uncomfortable with this pervert on this photo with my relative. Some of y'all have been molested and raped. And if you look at this photo real good, it's going to give you a creepy ass vibe. Some of you have had daughters and sons that have been molested and raped. So you will get a creepy vibe. It's just not good. So the psychopath and mental retardation. So to sum this up, for now on, you're going to stop thinking that people that were mentally retarded or running around on those walkers bent over and in those wheelchairs with their knees and hands bent, them ain't the mental retards, y'all. Them are not people with mental retardation. People that look like this ninja on this photo are. And he's definitely many, mentally retarded because he had somebody send me this photo after I had been in no contact with him, after he was cussing at me, yelling at me, having his woman threaten me back in January, February, right around then. Whenever that happened, and it's just retarded. 
for him to actually think that there's not going to be an outcome. But see, narcissists are blindsided. Psychopaths are blindsided. They don't see this shit coming, y'all. They don't see none of this coming. They just actually think they can just show back up and everything's just going to be fine. After they ain't honored none of your requests or, you know, what, what was fair to you wasn't offered. And that's just how they think, y'all. So this is an example of a psychopath that is mentally retarded. And as you can see, you don't see any physical deformities. You don't see any of that. However, he's definitely mentally retarded. For sure, y'all. So I love y'all so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you for tuning in. Please leave a comment. I love your comments, y'all. Thank you. Jam to this. Bye.